Las Vegas family has been facing up to a dark diagnosis, but tonight, thanks to Contact 13 Chief Investigator Darcy Spears, a little boy suffering from a rare and cruel disorder has hope for the future. Carter Gray was born last November with a genetic skin condition called lamellar ichthyosis. Carter's mom reached out to Contact 13 desperate to find help for her son today and hope for his tomorrows, and we jumped into action. I just want to know that when he's older, he'll have that mindset of, you know, I am different, but God made me like that for a reason, you know. Carter is what's called a collodion baby, born with a tight, clear membrane covering his skin that dries and peels off during the first few weeks of life, revealing skin covered in scales and eyelids turned outward. Nobody's really given us anything to look for or to watch out for any signs that he could have an infection, which you know, an infection could kill him. Ichthyosis affects only one person in 100,000. The condition is passed on by recessive mutated genes in both parents who typically don't show any signs or symptoms and don't know their carriers. The family has hit almost nothing but brick walls in the medical community. So for now, the best defense has been an industrial sized vat of coconut oil, which they apply to baby Carter eight times a day from head to toe. But the coconut oil makes such a big difference. With no certified pediatric dermatologists in Nevada, Contact 13 went to work for Carter's family. We located a specialist at the University of California in San Francisco. It's important for them to know that there are lots of other children out there that are like Carter. Dr. Erin Mathis agreed to see Carter after we contacted her. She says this will be the toughest time of his life, but there's hope. In general, if a patient with ichthyosis makes it through infancy, um, which now more and more patients are doing, um, then they can have a normal life expectancy. Carter's skin doesn't properly protect him from the outside world. He's at risk for dehydration, respiratory problems, he can't sweat, and can't fully close his eyes. His daily routine is key to keeping him comfortable and moving as much as possible. He can move his leg, but when he moves his ankle, there's just so much tension because the skin is so tight that we don't know how it'll affect his walking when, when he's older. Little dun, 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 dun. by little, oh, honey, honey. Dr. Mathis says he'll make it through. Boo. She's optimistic Carter will benefit from genetic-based targeted therapy. I would say our medical knowledge and understanding of this is expanding really, really, really rapidly right now. And I think things are going to be different in 10, 15, 20, 30 years. We also put Carter's family in touch with doctors from UC San Diego and a specialist with contacts at the Phoenix Children's Hospital and the Mayo Clinic in Scottsdale. They're already working to set up a consultation to see Carter and discuss several treatments, including systemic therapy that can help his condition. Darcy Spears, 13 Action News.